Guys, what's going on? James here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed General Manager Jason Light to a five-year contract extension. So, without further ado, guys, let's talk about it. First thing I want to mention is, did you guys know that Jason Light traded up in the second round for a kicker? I personally had no idea that happened, but, you know, people let me know, and hey, what do you know? Jason Light traded up in the second round for a kicker. Isn't that crazy? Like, what? First thing I want to talk about is Jason Light's draft history. Now, I will say he has had his fair share of misses, as has every single general manager in this league. You know, one of his biggest bad years for this team was the 2014 offseason. It was a terrible year for Jason Light in terms of his drafting and his free agency classes. The lone shining beacon of that draft class and just pretty much that offseason in general is Mike Evans, the best wide receiver in NFL, or sorry, not NFL history, not yet at least, wink, uh, in Buccaneers history. He's the best wide receiver in Buccaneers history right now. I say that with full confidence. You cannot convince me otherwise. Mike Evans is the best wide receiver in Buccaneers history. But taking that that 2014 draft class aside, you do have a couple more misses. Roberto Aguayo being the big one. A lot of people like to point to that one. He has had a couple of misses. Guys like Jeremy McNichols, Joey I. Sophia, among others, Danny Vitale. Um, but I think that there's also a lot of players that have yet to be determined as to whether or not you can label them as a hit or a miss in terms of Jason Light's drafting history. Pretty much the 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 draft class, we're still figuring out if those guys are hits or misses. Some of their time has been hampered by injuries. Some of them has been hampered by a lack of good coaching. And, you know, it's just, we have to wait a little bit more to see what the Buccaneers have. All of the players from those draft classes, for the most part, maybe minus one or two guys, are still on this team. And I think that that is a very important thing to say. That after four years, pretty much everybody from that 2016 uh, draft class is still on this team, which I think is a very, very cool thing. It definitely goes to show that, you know, there's still some good rotational depth pieces on this team and that Jason Light's draft picks haven't been all that bad. Jason Light is also responsible for bringing in guys like Mike Evans, Jameis Winston, Ali Marpet, Donovan Smith, among others. Uh, you know, Quan Alexander was a big part of this Buccaneers defense until his price tag got too high. But I will say that Jason Light's drafting history has definitely been a very mixed bag. Again, he has also had a very mixed bag in terms of his re-signings and his free agency periods. Everybody likes to point out Anthony Collins, um, also guys like Michael Johnson. Out to Ron Verner. That was all in 2014. Again, 2014 was not a good year for Jason Light. But I think after that 2014 offseason, from the 2015 season onward, he's been an overall pretty decent general manager, in my opinion. I know a lot of people may agree with that, but this is a move that I support. I definitely think that Jason Light has brought in a lot of good personnel to this team. He's definitely built the nucleus with which Bruce Arians is coaching right now. And I think that all in all, we definitely could have had a lot worse. I mean, look at the Mark Dominic era where we had Greg Schiano and we had Raheem Morris. That era, I think, was a lot worse than what the Buccaneers have now. So I think that, you know, with the way things are going right now, Jason Light, I think that he somewhat deserves this contract extension. I would also like to point out that one of the main reasons that the Buccaneers' current head coach, Bruce Arians, is on this team right now is because of his friendship with Jason Light. And I know people can counter that by saying, well, James, the Dirk Cutter era was awful. And, you know, come on, man, that was just terrible. This is his second head coach. Come on, give me a break. Um, and I would like to point out that this is... Uh, J Jason Light's second head coach ever on the team. Lovey Smith came before Jason Light was hired as general manager, just pointing that out. But I will say that one of the main reasons that Bruce Arians is here right now is because of Jason Light. Yes, the Dirk Cutter era did not work out. They did have one year with nine wins, and then after that, two years with five wins did not look good under any circumstances after that nine-win season. But now, obviously, a lot of people are very excited for Bruce Arians. He is bringing a aura to this team that the Bucks fans have not felt since the days of John Gruden. I think you can attribute that at least a decent amount to his friendship with Jason Light. So guys, all in all, you know, I'm fine with this move. I like it. I'm a supporter of Jason Light. I pretty much always have been. I think that he is a pretty decent general manager, all things considered. And I know people are going to point out Roberto Aguayo. How in the world could he trade up for a kicker in the second round? God dang it, everything. But guys, you also got to remember that, yes, Jason Light has had his misses, but he's also had a good amount of hits as well, both in draft classes and both in free agency. So, 
you know, let's just continue on. Let's just keep on going. It's already happened anyway. Um, and obviously, things could still change with how the team does in terms of keeping Jason Light as to whether or not the team does good or not. Things could always change. We're just going to have to wait and see. But I like this move. I support it. I think it is a fine move. Let me know what you guys think about this contract extension down in the comment section below. Do you like Jason Light? Do you not like Jason Light? Let me know what you guys think. But until the next video and the next live stream, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.